Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back, finally, with the Asus Ares um, review for you. Now I'm sat just in front of it at the moment because I've got uh, Vantage just about to get going here. Um, and I wanted you, you can talk to me, you can see this going at the same time. Now, we do pride ourselves at OC3D about unbiased reviews, cutting the, everything down the line. We tell you exactly the way it is. Now, the reason why, I mean, there's the second card. Um, the reason why it's not being in there tested at the moment is because Crossfire is an absolute mare with the drivers that come with the, in the box. Um, literally, I've tried it with Cat 6, Cat 5s, Cat 4s, I've gone back through, I've tried all the drivers, ones in the Asus, I've tried using the actual Asus drivers in, oh, it's just, it's been a, a complete nightmare trying to get two cards working. Um, you can quite literally get a couple of runs out of Vantage if you're lucky and a little blue screen sometimes you can't even get to Windows so I have to stress that with the drivers that are in the box Crossfire is a complete non-starter um, it, it just doesn't work um, hopefully Asus might bring out new drivers or ATI um, might hurry something through so that they're actually compatible and can work together but at the end of the day, we do need to remember that this is like four cores that we're, that, that, that we're trying to get talking. And the 4870X2, 3870X2, and 295s, all that kind of stuff, they were alright in um, uh, when to, if you had them together and you were benching them, but in games it was generally ghastly. And I'm personally not a fan of big number multi core. Um, set up. Uh, another thing was the micro start ring as well, you always get problems like that. But So yeah, it's a shame to say it, but Ares and Crossfire, um, yeah, it's just at the moment it's a completely non-starter. But, with one on its own, Jesus, Mary and Joseph, they, yeah, it goes some, it really does. I mean, I, I'm going to, I'll put at the end of the video, I'll put screenshots in of all of the, um, uh, all of the results, and then basically, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna reel out because I've got them all written down. I'm gonna reel out all the results that I've got for you, but you can always wait. This is running through at the moment, but on a, a 9:30 in Vantage, P score was 26,589, <laughs> uh, and 28,609 when the card was overclocked. X score was 15,344 and 17,107 when overclocked, so amazing. Then what I did, is the system I'm running it on at the moment, I dropped in at my 980, 6GB uh, of Corsair Dominator GT. Uh, we overclocked it to 200 base clock times 21 for 4.2GHz. And then uh, we run all the tests again, obviously, but those more bandwidth this time. Uh, P-score was 31,376 and uh, 32,094 when the card was overclocked. The X-score was 16,482 and 17,319 when overclocked. Now I did persevere with the crossfire because as I said I was getting Sometimes I was getting a couple of runs, sometimes I wasn't, but literally I worked on it for like two days straight just so I could try and bring you and show you what is possible. Uh, it could even be more if they get the drivers working properly. But uh, P score uh, of 41,192 and then an X score of 26,165. Now remember this is Vantage X we're talking about here. Um, so absolutely amazing scores. Uh, as you can see, Vantage is just tearing through there. I mean, it's flicking between sort of 90 and 80 odd. If you uh, let this buffer, if you go into H mode and let this buffer, you'll be able to see all this much, much better. Um, what more can I talk about with it? The fan, um, when in Windows, it's actually very, very quiet. It drops down to a uh, 20%, and it's uh, it's inaudible. It's actually quieter than the stock card. Now you can hear behind me that uh, the fans spinning quite a bit. Now, the thing is, is it's 25 degrees in here at the moment because I've not got the air conditioning on to keep it down to 20 degrees, which is what I normally do. 
um, and I've been benching these most of the days and the room is quite warm. Um, but it's still quieter than a stock card when you know the tested advantage and stuff like that. So big heads up to Asus. Um, yeah, if you put it on a hundred percent, then you know I mean it's going to be loud. But the amount of air that it pushes through is unbelievable. This fan's capable of over a hundred cfm. Um, but the temperatures actually do stay very low. Um, this card, even with uh, two cores on it, it's cooler than a 480 and quieter than a 480. So, do you know what I mean? I, I still do not understand what the bloody hell NVIDIA have been buggering about with for six months when they've not done anything. And yet, do you know what I mean? Asus can do this and call, call four car, uh, two cores and it still works out to be cooler. So, it's, it's, yeah, I, I really don't understand what the bloody hell's going on. But, I mean, this is about as good as you're going to get the uh, 5000 series now. Obviously, we're waiting for the refresh to see what the die shrink can bring us. But, yeah, it's absolutely unbelievable. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be quite sceptical about something like this. And, do you know what I mean? We have to be honest. It looks like now, from what I was talking to a retailer friend of mine today, that uh, these cards are going to be coming in at about uh, 1200 quid. Um, so it's a good £200 markup from what we initially thought. Now that is an awful lot of money for a couple of 5870s. Um, but the thing with the, uh, the Aries and even the Mars is it's about the ownership of it. It's, that, it's not meant to appeal to everyone because otherwise they wouldn't be able to just make a thousand of them. These cards are about having almost what you call a bit of history. If you take a Bugatti Veyron for argument's sake, it costs uh, VW, because that's the American, it costs VW, I think it's six million pounds to make one of those cards. Uh, yet they sell them for 1.2 million quid. It's just an engineering exercise to show you what's possible. Now, that's pretty much the kind of box that I would put the Aries in. It's just Asus going, this is what we can do if we really want to. I mean, in my opinion, you can't even really compare these with the Sapphires and the um, XFX cards. Because they're just 5970, they're just 5970s. This is, do you know what I mean, this is the, what, what can be done, theoretically. Um, now, if you said to me, do you want to buy an XFX? 5970 or the Asus Aries, um, and bear in mind that they're near enough the same price, you'd be an idiot not to try and get hold of one of these because at the end of the day it's a term that gets used around online a lot and that's EP. I mean this type of thing is just, do you know what I mean, if you have that in your rig or in your spec list, oh yeah I've got an Asus Aries, everyone and their dad will be like, what, how did you get that, do you know what I mean, these are just it's like, like a trophy wife, for want of a better term. Now, that's just chucked out a 31,519 um, P score because the card is overclocked. Um, and like I said, you can see there, 31,000, it's done that. Card at the moment's at 54 degrees, but it's not gone over 67 degrees. And I'll get you off the tripod quickly so you can see this. There you go, that's the score that it's pumped out while I've been talking to you. And then if you look here, 51 degrees at the moment, but it didn't go above 67 degrees. So there you go, we've done a, um, a Vantage run while I've been talking to you about the performance of the cards and as you can see it's absolutely unbelievable really, it's, you know what I mean, it's such a powerful card um, and, and the temperatures stay pretty low as well. Now at the end of the day it is a bonkers card for a bonkers amount of money but if you're looking for something completely unique and do you know what I mean, it's just you want the best then there is no argument that is the best 5000 series card available in the world today and do you know what I mean, with all the extras and all the packaging and everything like that, do you know what I mean, it is brilliant. Um, 
I'm going to sign off now, but make sure you, if you're, um, if you want some gaming results, I'm going to be back with um, some. Uh, probably going to do um, Stalker, um, Crisis, and I'll probably do some Dirt runs too, just so that you can see some frame rates as well. But yeah, for the uh, first of the Asus Ares re reviews, grab my camp, grab my remote. I'm getting the jitters today. Um, this is Tiny Tom Logan out.